Are you feeling lost? Anxious about where you're at in your life? Perhaps because your peers have nicer things than you? Well, I'll tell you, if you get rid of all of your belongings, there's nothing to compare your life to. Hello everybody, I am Dr. Kelly Stamps and I am here to attack you at 9 a.m. In my 40 years of psychiatric practice, I can tell you that most millennials, depression and anxiety roots from not feeling good enough. We are constantly comparing ourselves to each other and social media exacerbates the problem. I mean, look, I'm making you insecure right now. I am a 24 year old psychiatrist, very beautiful, very rich. I have my doctorate. I understand. Trust me, I've been there. It's hard to not feel insecure when luxuries are just thrown in your face. <sighs> I used to follow these luxury lifestyle influencers who would flash their fancy iced out $50,000 watches all over social media. When I made my first million, I thought having a $50,000 watch would make me happier. I thought owning something like that would confirm to all of my peers that I'm doing well. However, the more money that I make as a very expensive psychiatrist, I realize I want the money I make to stay in my pockets. So instead, I have this simple, sustainably made watch. This watch brand is called Nordgreen and I love it so dearly. Nordgreen is a Scandinavian watch brand. You know those Scandinavians have their minimalism on 10. So we can trust Nordgreen. These watches are based in Copenhagen, Denmark. I picked this women's watch called the Philosopher because my viewers leave my channel feeling very philosophical, um, intelligent, more beautiful when they leave my channel. I got it in gold with the white leather strap to match my white lab coat, you know, when I'm working, because I am a doctor. But you know me, I like to keep people on their toes. So you gotta change it up. You know, some days I do my bangs with my hair down. Other days I do my bangs with a little ponytail. And then I do bangs with two ponytails. You know what's convenient about Nordgreen? Stay here, don't go anywhere. Do you need water or anything? This watch comes with an interchangeable strap. So you know what? On Tuesday, I might get crazy and throw the black leather strap on. Their watches are designed by Jacob Wagner, the former lead designer at Bang and & Olufsen. And hey, I love the Philosopher because it is a timeless, simple, elegant, feminine design. And it pairs perfectly with all 12 of my clothing items. Yes, 12. I simplified my life to 12 items, which I will talk about shortly. In a sea of obnoxious, overpriced watches and accessories, there's Nora Green. And I'm proud to rock my simple, elegant watch. You know, I'm skinny, I'm scanty. And this actually gets pretty tight. It also arrived in this lovely, eco-friendly packaging. Nordgreen also gives you the opportunity as a customer, as a Stampede member with your 15% off discount, to donate to a cause of your choice. I chose providing clean drinking water to a family in the Central African Republic. How wholesome is that? As I was saying, I don't feel pressured anymore to keep up with the Joneses and fast trends that just come and go. All I need is something basic, elegant, and affordable to tell the time, because you don't have to keep track of many patients as a doctor. Now, it would be irresponsible of me, a doctor, to claim that depression can be cured. My title of this video is a bit dramatic. Depression cannot be cured, but I turned my life around making some serious long-term changes and commitments, such as choosing to be celibate for over nine months now, being pickier with the company I surround myself with. Also, giving more time and energy to the hobby of my choice. All three of these changes do relate to minimalism. I was tired of small talk on first dates, so I got rid of dating. I was tired of pretending to be extroverted, so I got rid of all those weird forced friendships with people I don't really know or like. I was tired of being told to join an expensive Pilates class for social interaction with a bunch of women who think being vegan is a personality trait. So I got rid of that membership and instead I just indulge in my very cheap figure skating hobby, which only costs $6 for me per session. The common denominator between these three things, which are just examples, 
is to get rid of things you don't like and simplify every area of your life. The other fancy doctors have a wholesome, non-judgmental approach to their therapy, but I'm here to give it to you straight. You have too much stuff. Practicing minimalism reduces mental baggage. My entire life fits in a suitcase and I am no longer 17 years a slave to a thing called clutter. I hate her, we abhor clutter, whether it's physical or in the mind. I used to suffer from anxiety and now I only gently suffer because I decluttered my room and my life. If you're a dedicated member of the Stampede, you saw my closet clean out video. I did a massive purge about a year ago and I reduced my 150 item wardrobe down to 24 items. And in the video, I reduced it to an even smaller amount, which people made fun of me for. They're like, wait, you don't have anything to start off with. Well, I still wanted to reduce my wardrobe. Not only is it liberating to look at my closet and see a carefully curated wardrobe of long lasting basics and some thought fits for when I want someone to lick the envelope, but it's also liberating to be able to move around easily. I moved between LA and New York City so many times, even the rats are confused. I am currently moving into a nice place tomorrow. That's why you see me having a suitcase right now and I'm hanging out in Hoboken for the night. I wouldn't be able to move so many times if I had a bunch of things. My goal is to have a bi-coastal, very rich YouTuber, full-time meme lifestyle and minimalism makes it easy for me to move when an opportunity is presented to me. When I, I mean, when my patients have crippling anxiety, I urge them to dump all of their excess belongings because anything can become a trigger for a panic attack. Practicing minimalism has indirectly given me more energy. I used to spend my energy organizing my items, stressing out about doing a bunch of chores relating to laundry, folding. My life literally fits into that black suitcase, so there's not much to organize. Ugh, my laundry is also a breeze because all I have to do is wash my little mooji drawers and my sock. Aside from my well-made basics from certain places and my favorite little Korean boutiques, the other things I wear on the weekends when I want to show out are silk dresses and a lot of cashmere. These fabrics tend to, at least in my experience, not get gross or soiled easily. They stay fresh and clean longer than tight-fitting cheap polyester t-shirts. So basically, buying more expensive, well-made, high-maintenance items has made my life easier because I don't really do laundry that often except for washing my Muji drawers. So basically, my only chore is to wash my Muji socks and drawers, and I just go get my items dry cleaned. It's not that expensive actually, because I wear them for longer periods of time without washing them frequently. So how has this story about my Muji drawers and silk and cashmere things improved my relationships? The extra energy spent doing things around the house can now be spent cultivating better relationships, doing things that I like. I still prefer to be alone most of the time, but I did make two friends recently, and I think the reason why I'm able to actually maintain these relationships now, other than me being emotionally available and having the easiest job on the planet, I have a lot of extra energy and effort that I did not have before. I've also networked with other YouTubers who share the same lifestyle. It's pretty easy. They just pop up on my newsfeed, like, I really like Lana Blakely. Hi, girl, you're watching. I like uh, Nate O'Brien. I think the three of us all need to just have a little minimalist brunch. I'm glad that I found a lot of people on YouTube who don't think it's weird that I wear the same exact outfit in different colors. Because once I find something I like, I just wanna wear it to death. Now there's a question that I get very often from my patients, which is, Does minimalism mean I cannot have expensive things? Well, there's no right or wrong way to be a minimalist. There's just my way and everybody else's way, which is not as good as my way. Okay, designer items make some people happy. I am a fan of Chanel. I have a few guilty pieces from Chanel. Okay. I mentioned that I was comparing myself to influencers flashing their $50,000 watches on social media. If you want a fancy watch, go for it. But keep in mind, 
I also consider myself a somewhat hardcore minimalist, but like I said, I still like my Chanel. So what's the solution? Something I came up with called the bougie minimalist lifestyle. All of my basic items have, well, now recently been sent to me from my favorite companies, but let's rewind to before I was a full-time YouTuber when I had to actually pay for things. I would buy basic items from stores like Uniqlo, Muji, sometimes Reformation. Basics that will last me forever. My jeans that you see me wearing have stood the test of time. But it's boring to wear the same t-shirt and jeans every single day. <sighs> you gotta change it up, right? So what I do, because I really like nice things, I don't like dresses that everybody else has. I want unique, beautiful dresses that are hard to find and they're usually from expensive designers. What I do now is I buy designer items in summer when I want winter items and vice versa. When it's winter, I buy summer items. So a lot of the dresses I have are normally $400, $500 because they're stupid expensive and they're beautiful and they're well made. But buying these timeless, well-made dresses in the opposite season saves you a lot of money. This is not rocket science, people have been doing this forever, but I'll just show you a clip, for example. I'm just going to look at some things I have bookmarked right now. One of my favorite websites currently is Aritzia. I love this website, and I'm currently shopping for a really bad winter coat. I already have one, but I would like one that's a plain muted color like black. I have this black coat bookmarked, for example. It's called the Waldorf Wool Coat. It's very much my style, which is bougie Blair Waldorf. It's actually in the name. As you see, it is currently, well, it used to be $450, and now it's on sale for $199. And perfect, it's in an extra small. And it says, Penny Lane goes to prep school. That is me. That is me. That is my style. And $200 is a small price to pay for a very well-made coat. If you haven't shopped there before, you wouldn't know, but you just know when you know. Well, thank you for watching. Um, I have a patient, but hold on. I'll be with you in just a second. I have someone else on the way now, so I have to go, but thank you for stopping in. Um, it's always good to ask for help. I'm glad that you're not ashamed to come to me when you need help for minimalism. If you need further help, there is a playlist on my YouTube channel called Minimalist Stamps where I will contribute more to. Um, I talk about cleaning out closet, how to build a basic wardrobe, how I build my wardrobe, and how I like to save money. I'll do an updated video on what I spend in a week as a New York resident. Goodbye. You can enter.